Hello dear amigas and dear amigos. I'm back with another video for you uh, uh, with another review of a great uh, record. This time it's uh, it's a jazz album, yeah, something I didn't review uh, before. Just this rock. But this is, uh, is in my opinion a very fine, a really great uh, laid back jazz album. It's uh, it's an album by uh, Grant Green. That uh, he's a, or he was a, a great uh, guitar jazz player. And uh, this one here uh, was released on Blue Note, and was released in nine, already in 1964. So it's rather I don't know how how to uh, call this particular style, but it's a, a really I would call it classic. Jazz, classic American jazz. So this band uh, consisted, uh, or this uh, Blue Note session consisted of uh, Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Bobby Hutchison on vibes, Grant Green, like I said before, on guitar, Duke Pearson on piano, Bob Crenshaw on bass, and L. Harewood on drums. The uh, the very special song. Uh, on this record here is, is the first track, Idle Moments. It's a really, uh, like I said, a la a laid back, relaxed, uh, 50 minute long, uh, beautiful, easy listening jazz track. It's, it's uh, really also highly recommended for beginners who don't uh, normally listen to jazz, or listen to hard rock, rock, pop, or whatever you like. Yeah, it's, it's my opinion also the, the greatest track on, on this album and, and I give it 5 stars just alone for, for this uh, track. Uh, uh, like I said, it, it, uh, it goes 15 minutes long. Uh, it wasn't supposed to, to go that long. They, uh, they wanted to record it shorter, but uh, when they uh, did the, uh, the take, the, they, they were so happy with, with the recording so they kept it and uh, they uh, re-recorded the other tracks uh, so that it, they could fit enough music on 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 the album yeah like i said that is uh, the first track is is the absolute best and one of the my uh, absolute favorite jazz uh, tracks overall uh, i can really hi highly recommend this this album and like like all the others uh, by uh, grant green it's it's unbelievable uh, when you think about jazz, yeah, you think about uh, uh, people like uh, John Coltrane on, on sax, saxophone or uh, maybe uh, also Bill Evans on piano. Both great musicians, great. Uh, they, they have both fantastic bands, which I personally, uh, personally also uh, that I like more than, than the great Miles Davis on trumpet, who, who was also a great musician. But... Um, uh, in my opinion, a much more better band leader, even as a musician, and an innovator of jazz. So, uh, but I, uh, I want to tell you something about the other tracks, who are also great, but not so great like the, like the fantastic title track. The, the second track on the, on the B side, on the A side, after Idle Moments, is Jean de Fleur. That's a very, uh, a really fast song uh, uh, like uh, it's a complete contrast to to idle moments but but also also great then um, it starts with uh, on the second side with this uh, song called Django uh, my second favorite track of this this album it's, it's a mid-tempo laid-back chilled track it's, it's a bit faster than idle moments but still uh, re re really relaxed really nice and the album is uh, the end of the album is the, is the track Nomad. It's also more uh, faster jet track, yeah, uh, with a, uh, much more pace than uh, than Django, but also great. Like I said, I can uh, uh, really highly re recommend this album. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I wanted to say, and uh, it's a uh, really great uh, also for beginners uh, of jazz. Who want to listen to to jazz? Can really recommend this one. So now I, I want to give you a the best or let's say a recommended pressing. I only got this version of this album. Yeah, this is the 
Like you can hear, uh, see here, it's the uh, from the Blue Note Classic vinyl series. Was released already uh, in or just in 2021. Like I said, it was here uh, LP mastering, Kevin Gray, coherent audio. So you know, it sounds really great. I don't know. Uh, many people also say this is a complete analog mastering. I, I, I don't know the originals. I can't uh, give you uh, an opinion about uh, them, but uh, I think that, that they don't sound much better than this one. And I I've also read some reviews from people who who have uh, an original and uh, or originals, but uh, from the series. Well, titles who are in the series, and they they also say that uh, that they sound absolutely fantastic, even compared with the uh, with the originals. Yeah, that's that was my my uh, review for this week for this great jazz album. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and peace.